Probably the first thing that drew me to your existence was your laugh. I could hear it across the conference room in BLD in the YE weekend where we met and I felt this strong whisper from God that something special was going to happen between us. That was exactly 17 years ago to this day. It was love at first laugh. <laughs> so when we had to break up in college, I was more than heartbroken and jaded. I stopped believing in cheesy things like forever and soulmates. But God made me a promise that I would have a healed heart and an unimaginably beautiful wife and family. I could never have imagined it would be you again. Kulit mo kasi. You kept wanting us to be friends again. Yan you were getting married. We keep talking about this new wave we've been riding. This crazy wild trip that started when we opened up again. And you ask me if I still feel it. How could I not in every moment with you? It's crazy how we promised we would eventually be friends. And the wave took us here to the brink of forever. And in this new life with you, I'd like to make new promises to keep. I promise to take care of you and our future, to work hard so you can enjoy your trophy housewife life for one year only. <laughs> I promise to make you feel safe and protect you from any danger, especially Ibis even if it flies. I promise to walk and feed our future dogs, Maui Wowie and Granddaddy Purple. And of course, be a great father to our little kebabies in the future. I promise that our home will be filled with laughter and eventually furniture. I promise to be calming when you're anxious, patient when we're not on the same page, and just listen when all you want to do is complain. We will always pick up after every fight. I promise to make you feel like you're part of everything that I do. I promise you never have to be afraid of me leaving you, of you being alone, or fear of someone else. You are way more than enough and are the only one for me. I promise to always be the egg to your small fry. <laughs> I've been praying for this day for so long. I've forgotten how an answered prayer feels like. I didn't want to be cheesy, but you make me believe in soulmates. And it's us, you fool. It's undeniable. Be brave with me. We're riding this wave all the way to the ocean's depths. I love you forever, Abby. I am yours. You are mine. We are one. All is well.
So I kind of memorized this, but in all of the emotions of the day, I wrote it just in case. So, hi, Kevi. <laughs> We're here in standing in front of God and all the people who love us, and I still can't believe it. After that's, after everything that's happened to us, for us, between us, I honestly never imagined that we would get here. I still can't believe that I was just 16 when I first thought that I was in love with you, and that was everything. Every giddy feeling, every butterfly in my stomach, even just the mere mention of your name made me giddy. And for me, that was love. And I felt it in every fiber of my teenage body. But then we grew up, and we outgrew that love. And everything about me did change. Not much in vertical size, but everything on the inside. You changed too. You got taller, more muscly, <laughs> a little different here on the inside as well. I was no longer that silly, infatuated girl who th thought that love was all about the butterflies and the kilig. Yet even after more than a decade's worth of growing up, somehow I found myself right back at the beginning at that feeling of excited love, but this time, holy and more intentionally crafted. It's funny how I actually had been writing these vows for you since those younger years, since I was 16 years old. I was the hopeless romantic doodling Mrs. Abby Mayuga on the margins of my notebook because yes, I am that girl. <laughs> but look at us now with God and all the people who love us and who we love standing as witnesses of that girl's childish dreams becoming reality. Look at my rings! <laughs> we have always said our love for each other was like a wave, coming and going at the behest of the moon. But while I was pondering last night, I realized that waves crash and fade, and this thing we have couldn't possibly fade. Because I know we won't let it. Because, Kevi, we are as constant as the ocean's tides, pulling and pushing persistently for and towards each other. I ended things once before because I was young and stupid and afraid of the direction that we were heading in. And because I was afraid that my parents would disown me. <laughs> but they have already given us their blessing. Thank you, Mom and Dad. <laughs> and, I am no longer afraid of that future and the unknown. So right here, at the pinnacle, so far, of our relationship, I make these vows to you. I promise to be brave for us, like the way you were brave the first night we met when you killed that Ipis. I promise to keep excited for us, to keep open every door and window of opportunity, to keep seeing the world with the same childlike eyes that I had when we first fell in love. I promise to keep us growing, personally, in our communities, in our faith, for each other. I promise to be intentional in this love that I have for you, especially when it's not easy, especially when I'm afraid. And I promise to believe in us every day, to believe that God, fate, the universe, and every single person here brought us together again. We started out saying, I love you forever, like the cheesy young couple that we are, because we believe that what we had was already forever. And you know what? It is. And so right here, I promise you, I love you forever.